I wanted to do a quick video, uh, a quick follow-up video explaining this rocket that went into what we call low Earth orbit, uh, the stratosphere, if you will. A bunch of uh, flat Earth deniers, a bunch of debunkers of the flat Earth, if you will, are saying this proves the curvature of the Earth. We found the curve. We found the curve. They finally found the curve. <laughs> and uh, they're using this video as proof. So it's it's pretty simple uh, and pretty straightforward. You see him take a camera and you see him put it in a cylinder. Now, he also uses two cameras. Uh, there is a shot from the outside camera that's not in the cylinder that tries to show a flat horizon line. And there's also one from inside the cylinder, inside the rocket. Now, he's shooting vertically and he's also... Uh, shooting through this circle and you see the circle you see it framed before it even launches it you see it framed you see it make curves you see it especially on the bottom if you look at the bottom on the screen i think it's up to uh 150 mark of the video you can see a, a curve now also when you go to the four minute mark of the video you see him put it inside this frame you see him put it inside the circle and he also takes the uh camera and he puts one outside of the rock. I, he doesn't say where he puts it. I'm assuming one is outside the rocket and one is inside the rocket. He did use two cameras and he doesn't show where he puts the second rocket, which is very deceptive. He's obviously doing this uh, for the debunkers. So he needs to make a lot of money to pay for his time and pay for his expenses. This is not cheap. You don't have to be the smartest person in the world. Uh, to shoot something into the sky, you, you do need a lot of money though. And this is a popular topic right now. And he's trying to uh, get clicks and make his money back. He's appealing to these skeptics, these uh, flat earth deniers. So uh, he's trying to show them the curve of the earth. Now, the second thing that's really interesting is the distances. So I've been into this uh, since about 2008 studying moon hoax. And they used to always say, that low Earth orbit starts at 90,000 feet to 100 to, uh, 120,000 feet. Now, now they say that outer space starts at like 300,000 feet. And they say the uh, International Space Station is at 250,000 feet above the Earth. Now, they used to always use feet. Now they're using miles to kind of try to confuse you and uh, get you to like... Uh, be confused with this hypnotism. So they'll always say, it's easy, it's easy. And then you'll say, well, explain it to me. And they go, well, you're not smart enough to uh, figure it out. And I go, well, I have a college degree. Do you? And they're, they're like, no, we don't, we don't, we didn't go, we're smart enough, but we didn't want to sit through the classes. We don't have discipline to sit through the classes. Oh, okay, well, explain your math to me. And they go, well, you wouldn't be able to understand. You're not smart enough. And I go, well, try me. Explain to me, um, how you calculate altitude. It's not simple and it's not easy. You have to calculate speed. And then when you're calculating distance within speed, it's very, it's very difficult. The telemetry data from the moon landing, which was the black box, which was the ones and zeros that showed them the speed to get altitude, to get distance, they lost it. They lost it. They absolutely lost it. They don't show their work. NASA doesn't show their work. This guy, Kip, didn't show his work. He doesn't show that he's 56 miles above the earth. Either way, you can call it 56 miles. You can call it whatever you want. It's still not in outer space. It's 90,000 feet to 120,000 feet is what they always used to say. Now they want to push it to 300,000 feet above the earth. That's where outer space starts. Okay, they're still well within outer space. They're still below the firmament. They're still below the Van Allen radiation belts. They're still just right above the Earth. Now, when you look at images from non-GoPro uh, cameras with fisheye lenses, with a rectangular lens, that aren't shooting through a cylinder, that aren't shooting through a frame circle, you see a straight line. Now, he didn't need to shoot a rocket. All he needed to do is do a hot air balloon. That's all he ended up doing. He shoots the rocket up. You see the rocket start curving, and then it, the capsule deploys into a hot air balloon. And then the hot air balloon rises up to uh, his resting place where he just kind of floats around and it gets his image, gets his shot. Now people do this all the time with uh, weather balloons. They shoot them up to about 
it's really just 120,000 feet. I mean, I don't know how they're going to prove how high they work. That's very uh, inaccurate work on their part to just assume it's uh, higher than 120,000 feet. You, you can't prove that. You can't. And if you try to, I guarantee you're just going to go, oh, you're not smart enough to understand it. No, I am. Please explain it to me. Please show your work. I don't believe you will. I don't believe you'll even try. And they always use this hypnotism language. Like, oh, you're not smart enough. It's easy. It's easy. First of all, it's not easy. Stop saying things that are easy that aren't. That's not easy. Most people can't tell you the difference between miles and kilometers. You know why? Because it's not easy. All distance is is marks on a piece of paper. You're indoctrinated with the name of that mark on a piece of paper. In America, we call it feet, and it's 12 marks on a piece of paper. The other system uses 10 marks on a piece of paper. I don't know if they call it meters or centimeters. I don't know which one it is. I just wasn't indoctrinated with that system. And they go, well, we don't like your system because it's based off of 12. I get it. Your system might be easier, but you can't do our system, and we can't do your system because we weren't indoctrinated with it. It's just marks on a piece of paper. So explain to me. Your mark's in the air. Well, it's very hard because you don't have a piece of paper. You don't have something to measure it with. You don't have uh, a physical construct. You have speed. Well, then how do you calculate your speed? Well, your pressure, your velocity, your... Well, that's very hard. Very difficult. Ooh, that's very difficult. Don't tell me that's easy. Please stop. Please stop with your uneducated uh, hypnotism towards science. It's just the experience of knowledge. That's all science is. I'm sick of you guys acting like you're smart. You're not. It's not easy to explain uh, distance going into the air. That is not easy. And I think you're miscalculating how far up you are. Now, the, it doesn't really matter because the point is you're not in outer space. You can't go to outer space, and they've never been able to go to outer space since 1972. Now, that's admitted. That's admitted, and you guys don't want to admit that. You think your probes, uh, your unmanned probes are going in outer space. They're not. They're lying. They're absolutely lying, and you guys don't like that. And then you do this deceptive stuff where you take the camera and you put it in a cylinder to show us curve. Now, you can see him uh, make the curve. Now, again, with the other images from these hot air balloons, you will see the camera bounce up and down, and it with the lens and the light, from the sun, you will see it convey and convex a little bit. And they'll go, oh, that's the curve, that's the curve. No, that's the camera bouncing up and down, and then it self-corrects, and you see the straight line. Just watch the video for a little bit, and you'll see it change a little bit, but then you'll see the straight line. That's called the horizon, a horizontal line. They want to say that's the curve. They want to say horizontal lines are curves. And then they'll come back to you with GoPro images, in this case, a framed image with a rectangular lens. Yes, it was a rectangular lens, but you can clearly see how that makes uh, his sphere, that makes his circle. That does not prove uh, the curve of the earth at all. If this credits everything you guys do, the scientific community is not peer reviewing your stuff. If you were actually uh, doing something scientific, the scientific community would come and give you honorary degrees. They would come and give you grants. They'd just come and give you money. But they're not. So you've got to go to the debunkers of flat earth to get your money. you got to go to the people that live in the Nile, the people that just run around saying, you're not smart enough to know. No, I am smart enough to know. You're just too arrogant to tell me. You're just too delusional to understand that it's way over your head too because it's probably just fake. The truth is easy to understand and the truth is simple and the truth makes sense and the truth is it's a horizontal line. The truth is, we don't know how high up they are, but there's a limit to how high they can go, and they've never gone to outer space. It's not outer space. It's just above. It's just a little higher, and you can see the horizon line. And uh, that video uh, does absolutely nothing for your uh, scientific community. You guys aren't in the scientific community. You're not. You're silly. You're silly. And you're making Flat Earth look good. You're making flat earthers look good and you're making flat earthers look smart. And there's more people every day becoming flat earthers because of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo to the uh, flat earth deniers. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> A bunch of dorks.